We're going to begin with a Macomb County man sentenced to prison for terrorizing a black family in his neighborhood. Glad you're with us tonight at 11 off the top. He later told a judge he targeted that home last September because of the family's Black Lives Matter signs. He was sentenced four to 10 years for the hate crimes. Jason Colthorpe is live tonight. Jason, you spoke to that family and they say the neighborhood has really united around this. It really did. I mean, you remember back then, everybody still felt pretty isolated. And in this neighborhood, uh, the Hall family in particular, after having been terrorized, people started showing their support coming out, uh, saying positive things to them. And they were even able to start making peace with the family of the 25 year old who's now going to prison. Yeah, it's just a small thing. Mm -hmm. Small things like their power, which just came back on today, and sunlight, which they can finally enjoy again. Here we had the um, cardboard up there. It was like night all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie and Candace Hall's double pane front window took three months to replace after one of their neighbors threw a rock through it. Michael That's Frederick small. Jr. also slashed their tires, spray painted a swastika on their truck, and fired shots at their house all because he didn't like their Black Lives Matter sign. Frederick was sentenced Monday to four to 10 years in prison. We were ready for foreclosure, you know, just to kind of, you know, just leave that part of our life behind us. I wouldn't say a closure because you're going to always remember, but it was mm -hmm. almost like another chapter in life. We're going to move on to the next thing. Frederick apologized and the halls believe it to be honest. Really, the good came out of this because it really opened up the neighborhood, the people came out of their houses. We saw more good than evil. Yeah. And they hope Frederick starts to see more good as well. And I'm not angry. I'm not. Mm. We're not angry. We're we forgive him. If he finds Christ, then this was all worth it. Yeah. If he if he changes his life around, then this was all worth it. And another touching moment that happened in court. There was uh, a moment when Frederick's mother reached out and touched Candace's hand, just another sign of unity there and healing there. And the way Eddie put it to me tonight, you know, nobody wins in all of this. Their family loses their son for a few years and they still have to try and turn the page into a new chapter for their family after those initial days of just being terrified and then the following months of trying to cope with what happened. Reporting live tonight, Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4. Indeed, okay, Jason, thanks.